Welcome back to We Don't Know. In this video, we're doing some pest control on some terrible little creatures. The aphid. There he is, a little bastard. Look at him. They were all over the plants. So we had a plant growing outside for a few months during the summer, brought it back in during the fall. And unfortunately, we didn't realize the consequences of that. So it was infected with aphids and it brought in a colony of the little bastards. Got over all our plants. So naturally we had to exterminate them. This is our first attempt using this stuff here. Four cups of water, one teaspoon of um, some interesting looking fluid. Put it in our spray bottle and then douse the affected plants. This worked all right with some gnats we had a while back. But when it came to aphids, it really didn't affect them much. Check it out. So we completely doused these plants. I mean, put good coverage on it. Did it two days in a row and really didn't notice that much of a difference. On the upside, the plants didn't experience any negative side effects. Couldn't, there was no discoloration, no stress from this solution we used. You can see they're still there. Still hugging tight there to the base. They hide under the leaves, on the stems, and little nooks and crannies throughout the entire plant. So Captain Jack's dead bug didn't work at all for aphids. Wouldn't recommend. So let's move on, try something else. Second attempt, we tried a good old fashioned Google special. So someone online said they used Dawn dish soap. So we made a similar batch, four, four cups of water, one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap, shook it up real good and then soak the shit out of our plants. I mean, like we were putting out a fire using unlimited quarters at a self car wash. And see, so soaked it really good. And our outside plant it handled that well. It did seem to get rid of most of the aphids. But our huge mistake was doing it with our hydro setup. So what we didn't realize here is that a lot of that soap was going to run back down into, you know, the watery base. You see the plant stress there. The bubbles push the roots up and out of the water, and within a day, she tragically you know, took a loss there. So our third solution we tried, this is from our local hydro store. It's a mix of kind of a homeopathic remedy of different oils that are supposed to be great for the plant, really no side effects there. So. We tried it on our last one and that seemed to do the trick. I mean, at this point, all the aphids were pretty much removed. You can use this as like a preventative measure as well. So going through and spraying the bottom of your leaves and your plants once per week, you can see it. It actually smells pretty great and it's a great preventative measure for getting rid of these little guys and keeping them away. And finally, I, this is the method I'd recommend the most, is this bug bomb here. So you close off your room, turn off all the lights and electronics, and just gas those little guys out. Make sure you seal up any cracks in the door, so throw some tape over it, and let it do its magic. And it worked like a charm. I would recommend that method first. So, thanks for watching. If you have any tips or tricks for getting rid of pests in your own grow room, leave them in the comments below. We read them all, respond to a good chunk of them. Like and subscribe and join us on this journey. Moral of the story here, use a bug bomb. They work phenomenally. Catch you in the next one.